we've got another hosting video today this time it is my cousin's bridal shower this is the first bridal shower of i'm sure many some of y'all might already know Alyssa. she's been in videos just throughout the years she's getting married and we are so excited she has been like the easiest bride ever i didn't even know a bride could be so easy we met early january to discuss themes and just the overall idea but really she was just so chill and didn't care she gave a theme like petals of prosecco that we kind of followed loosely we really just went off that so i hope you all enjoy and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already hi y'all we're now two days out from the bridal shower i wish i would have vlogged the past month or so leading up but you know we had some other things going on so i didn't get to do that we have been planning this bridal shower Hour for probably three months. It's for my cousin Alyssa, who's basically like my big sister. We're very, very close. And she is getting married. So when she was getting married, I was like, obviously, I have to host this. This is very exciting for me. She wanted her theme to be petals and prosecco. Alyssa is actually very an incredibly low maintenance bride. Uh, no one was more shocked than me. Like, I'm kidding, but she's just been like so low maintenance that I was kind of like begging to do certain things. So today we have the signage getting delivered and I need to go get the newspaper stuff printed out. I have this whole vision for a like floral bar, like a flower bar where people can make their own arrangements. We thought about using a vendor. They're just like really expensive. So I was like, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get custom newspaper printed out. We got a template on Etsy and I had her fill it out with all these like random facts and stuff. And I'm gonna go to FedEx and get it printed because one of y'all gave me this hack right here. Thank God, because it is saving my life. There's a lot of websites I know that do it, but I just didn't have the time to get that all done. So I'm gonna go get them printed today and that's gonna be for the floral bar. I have a couple things that have been delivered as well that I'll show you guys. And then tomorrow we're gonna do all of that stuff. So I'm gonna just kind of like take you guys through what we've been up to, what we've been doing. So here are some of the things that we got. These are from Amazon, cute little glasses for the girls. I'll probably add pink ribbons to all of them today. Always do that in advance, never the day of. Anything that you can do in advance, like even just like setting things out here, these are not for the bridal shower. My dad just dropped them off for me from his house for the hosting closet, but I try to just have the least amount to do on the actual day of the shower. So my grandma and my mom are coming over today to help me just get some things done. This is going to be, I believe the, oh actually no, this is like gonna be the floral bar now that I think about it. This is where we're gonna have gifts. And then out here, is what we're gonna do the floral bar, just so it just makes more sense. And also it's gonna be nice out, which we weren't expecting. So it's nice to be able to use the outside space. So that's what we're doing. We have a cheese board coming, we have a cake coming. Some people are bringing like chips and dips and stuff because it's at 1 p.m. We're not serving like a full meal. It's more like bites. I am gonna make a spinach artichoke dip. I, let me see where I actually got that recipe from. My sister loves spinach artichoke dip. That's like what she orders immediately when she sits down, if they have it. So I've always wanted to learn how to make it just because she loves it so much. Um, and I got this recipe literally from Food for Thoughts, um, TikTok, love. And it's thought with a zero. Wait, no, F-O-0-D dot four number dot T-H-0-T. Obsessed, what a queen. And this is the recipe, it's my recipe journal. These are available on a friend of mine. So anyways, I'm gonna make that. And that is a nice dip to make because you can prep it the day before. So like I'm gonna like probably mix it all up, have everything ready, and then that way I can just like pop it in the oven day of and we're good to go. Oh yeah, this is perfect. That works. We can just like, would we want it to be double-sided instead? You can't double side it? No. Yeah. It'll be fine. What you can even do is, well, you know what I mean? And then open yeah. it. So, like I said, I know there's websites that do this, but we were on a little bit of a tighter turnaround. This is the best option, I feel like, for printing. So, it's on architecture paper, which is slightly different, 18 by 24. You can't do double sides. There is a part that's going in, in the middle, um, but it's mainly just, we honestly didn't really even need to get the part in the middle, thinking about it now. They're mainly going to go around the arrangements that everyone can make. Um, and then I just think it's like cute and we can have them, you know, laying out wherever. But we used an Etsy little uh, like template thing that I will link below, but there's so many different ones. And like, it's just so cute. I think it's such a fun, like personalized touch. Whenever I'm hosting anything, I always like to make them just a little bit more personal, so. 
How cute. So Thursday evening, I just tied all of the bows to our little cups. I have an entire Amazon storefront of everything that we use for the bridal shower linked there. I loved these champagne flutes. They were super cute. And I love the little added touch of the bow. It's a really easy cost-effective way to personalize something. I didn't film this, but that night we also got all of the signs delivered and we put them out throughout the house. So it was really ready to go. Anything that you can have set up before, do that as early as you possibly can. That is always my biggest hosting tip. Like for dinner parties, I will set the table sometimes a week in advance just to have that off my to-do list. It's Thursday evening. A lot of progress has been made. We just had the signs um, dropped off. So. We got templates from Etsy. So we have this, and then it came. I'll link it below. I forget the shop. This is going to be cards and gifts over here. And then we have the bar. We already have her drinks. So cute. The list spritz, and then Mary Me Marg, and then Rosé. Like, all that stuff, obviously, as you guys can see. Another thing I thought was cute, very friend of mine coded, um, are these little recipe cards that we had printed off that everyone can leave, like, their favorite recipe or whatever for... The happy couple so very fun i did get this earlier today we're picking them up tomorrow because we did get a bunch but you guys will see like what we're doing tomorrow i'm turning them into little like floral arrangements by the way this wrapping paper really cute from walmart and then we just have three little like bridal shower games we're gonna play and then i'm putting together a little bag of like pr stuff basically for the winner so that'll make it extra fun we've cleaned up done all the things like the random stuff that needs to be done for hosting my backyard is looking a lot better or the little area out here it's just it's coming together it's friday it is the day before the shower my mom and i are at trader joe's we're gonna get stuff for i'm making a spinach artichoke dip did you know that mm -hmm. okay so i'm making a dip and then we're gonna get a bunch of flowers we were gonna go to like a wholesale market but the more i thought about it and the more i researched it like i feel like trader joe's pricing is really not that different trader joe's as y'all know is where i go for flowers always like i go weekly for my like home arrangements and then also for dinner parties they just have the best prices the flowers last the longest they're just the best. I want to keep the flowers under 200 if we can. I feel like we can. But that's 20 arrangements. Maybe. 250. Yeah. Like two to 300. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. And then what else do we have to do today? Oh, and then after we're going to go to FedEx and get the rest of the prints. And then we're ready to go. But this is my favorite part is always the flowers. Where are my keys? Oh. I can't remember if I need to say anything else. Anything else on the grocery list besides spinach and artichoke? Uh, we don't need to get anything for drinks because Lynn and Lynn and Alyssa got them. So oh, okay. we really okay. just need spinach artichoke and then everything else is getting delivered oh, okay. tomorrow. I'm such a good sister. Oh, I learned that dip because it's free crackers. Oh yeah, because my mom's gluten free. But I'm such a good sister. I learned um, how to make spinach artichoke dip because it's Maddie's favorite. Isn't that so sweet of me? It is. An incredible daughter as well. You know. <laughs> Trader Joe's was the move. We just got all of these flowers, like so many, and there's buckets over there, and all the food that we needed on my end for $2.70, which is crazy. Like this is so many flowers, you can't even see because the lighting is so bad, but definitely the right move. Stunning. We're back at FedEx to pick up the newspapers, and then I also got a few photos of them printed.
quick break to talk to y'all about the truly party pack i love this pack and if y'all are going to book club a bridal shower a dinner party anything that someone hosts this is what you should be bringing okay so it has four flavors watermelon citrus squeeze raspberry and pineapple they taste amazing my personal favorite is pineapple these are four fan favorite flavors each flavor is really light they're super refreshing and they're made with real fruit juice. They have 5% ABV, 100 calories, 1 gram of sugar, 2 grams of carbs. It is just the perfect refreshing drink. To find Truly Heart Seltzer near you, go to trulyheartseltzer.com slash locations. That is trulyheartseltzer.com slash locations. Truly Heart Seltzer, keep it light. Truly Heart Seltzer, beverage company, Boston, Massachusetts. Please drink responsibly. All right, it is now Friday evening and I'm about to get ready on the arrangements and the flower bar. I cannot believe how many flowers we got at such an amazing price. I wish the lighting out here was a little bit better, but this entire area is going to be our little flower bar station. And then I have buckets. I've been waiting all day to start this because I have flower buckets that are on their way from Amazon, but they haven't arrived yet and they're arriving supposedly by 9 p.m. So. I haven't really been able to like lay any of this out yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on the arrangements for my house. Whenever I host, I always do some hydrangeas in the bathroom. These are like the easiest ones to just kind of put around the house. And then I make a little arrangement myself. Like I'm, you couldn't tell me that I'm not a florist at this point. So I'm gonna separate them by like flower bar, arrangement, whatever. And then I'm gonna go in the hosting closet, which is in the middle of a little makeover. So ignore that we're getting wallpaper installed but we ran out i have all my vases in here so oh this is literally perfect i'm just gonna grab and pick um what i have and what i need for the weekend Their arrangements I probably will need more vases but this is just what I'm gonna go with for now these are mainly for the flower bar and then these will be for arrangements so this is what I'm working with they're kind of random but we'll see a good floral arrangement and we lucked out i mean trader joe's has the best flowers and they also last the longest and they're also the cheapest so i ended up making some arrangements for the actual house and then we also kind of separated them and got them ready for the flower bar So these are the arrangements that I made. This one's gonna go by the sign, and then I'm not sure where we're putting the other ones. This is dying, we're just gonna see if it, you know, revives by morning, if not, whatever. This one I need to fix, I just don't have, you know, the mental capacity currently, but um, they're really cute. They're way more like springish. It's weirdly warm for February. So these buckets I got on Amazon, they're very inexpensive, and I'll end up using them for other things for sure. I wish that we had something to give a little bit more height so it looked better. I'm gonna brainstorm and think about that tonight, but I'm gonna make my first like fake arrangement just to see how this all turns out, but it's looking cute.
Um, this is just, no, this is just a trial for tomorrow. So we have this ready to go. I am going to disassemble it, but it looks so cute. All right, that was perfect. My mom just got some salad bowls from the hosting closet. And this is what we're working with. I think it looks so cute. So tomorrow I will lay out all of the newspaper out here and then we'll do some bowls for twine and ribbon, scissors, things like that, so everyone can come. Actually, I guess we're gonna need to keep a little workspace area kinda clean. I don't know, we'll figure that out tomorrow. But so far, it's looking amazing. We're setting up right now for tomorrow. Again, this is from our little Etsy thing, all Amazon, so cute. I'll start hey, an entire storefront for things that I did for this bridal shower. All very cost effective and amazing. So things that you can also use like later on. All right, I'm ready to prep the spinach artichoke dip. This is so easy. So it's just a lot of cheese. I'm gonna put the recipe on, oh, I just cleaned and I got this everywhere. It's lots of cheese, artichoke hearts. It's a very, very simple recipe, but it's really good and you can prep it a day before, which makes it so much nicer. Marinated artichokes. I pretty much just throw in everything. Saturday morning, I finished setting up the flower bar just to make sure everything was good to go. We had really good weather, so I was able to do it a little bit earlier. I thought this was just such a cute out of touch. We were quoted really high for floral bars. Not that they're not worth that. Like, the, to the businesses, they definitely are. It just wasn't really in our budget. So, I made do. Happy Saturday, it is the day of the bridal shower. If y'all are wondering where all these extra doodles have been coming from all vlog, it's my mom and my grandma's dogs. So it is the morning, my cousin and my aunt are coming around noon to bring over a couple things. The bridal shower starts at two. I really just have to finish the floral bar, which will not take me that long, and then get out all of the dishware that I want. We have a couple appetizers being brought by other people and then I made spinach and artichoke dip, which I'll pop in the oven probably around like 1, 1.30 just to have it ready. We have a charcuterie board coming and a cake being delivered today. It feels so amazing outside right now. Like I just cannot believe how, it's literally the last weekend of February and normally it's like freezing in Texas and right now it's just the most perfect weather. When we were planning this, like six months ago, we were thinking we weren't gonna be able to even go outside. We were gonna be wearing like parkas, okay? So we're getting very close. Um, the key to everything I say this always is to just spread it out over multiple days and just have things sitting out in your house so you don't have to be stressed out. Normally, I would actually have had probably all the dishes out, but I just like wasn't feeling it last night. I needed to go to bed and decompress and just like not speak to anyone for a bit. So we're gonna do that now. Let's go to the hosting closet. All right, time to go in. Okay, I know I'm gonna use this for the cake, this definitely should be big enough. I don't know if this is gonna be, this will probably be a little big for this spinach artichoke dip. Uh, let me think about this. I will be using this for the twine and the ribbon for the flower bar. I think I am going to at least try to use this for the spinach artichoke dip. This is from At Home, they have the best stuff. I feel like it is gonna be too big, but we'll figure that out. I do have other stuff. Oh, you know what? These bowls. We could use this china it's for my grandparents' wedding. Like I said, you know, they got divorced, but I got the china. So who's the real winner, you know? I'm thinking maybe I will use both of them and just put the dip in here. Oh, I don't have chips. I don't have chips. Genius, genius. So I guess chips will have to go in here or something. And then 
I know they're making like veggie platters. Ooh, okay. Okay, they're making like veggie platters, bringing those. So I'm thinking the china. I think it's time to bring out the china. I, I, if I need more, I'll just come in here. But I think we're good. All right, so this is the ribbon. And then we have some twine down there. Maybe I'll actually I only have one thing of twine. So we're going to put this out here. And then the rest of the ribbon in here, we should probably bring a little trash can or something just to keep it like tidier. But that is our little setup. I'll get a little cute pair of scissors out here. And the flower bar. This is a much cheaper option than hiring. Um, we just like could, it was just too expensive. But there are like really great, amazing businesses, Dallas based actually. I'll link one below that I really like if y'all don't want to do this yourself and you want to have someone who's like making the arrangements for you and stuff. She's really awesome. It's just, it was too expensive for us. So, anyways, we may do with what we had. I have all of our Trader Joe's flowers and then all of our newspaper. I hate that the lighting is hitting like this, but these ended up turning out so cute. I do recommend using one of the websites beforehand and not waiting like I did, but it still ended up turning out so great and the actual like stencil thing itself, template was like probably 10 bucks. There is a Nancy, guys, please ignore my hands. I saw tan last night and like, I really just don't want to talk about it. It's nothing new, but let's just ignore it. Nancy Myers has a playlist for literally everything. So Nancy Myers bridal shower, that's the playlist that we're going to play and then mix in some Taylor Swift, but anything Nancy Myers is always just the best for entertaining. The cake was just dropped off. Dallas girls, this is where we're buying cakes from here on out, okay? It's Tita's, it's T-I-T-A-S um, on Instagram. I will have their Instagram linked below. This is the most perfect cake. They DM'd me and then Alyssa just sent me like cake info. I literally just sent this, said Deuce and just be cider. And I mean, it was amazing. So nice, so incredible. I literally can't get over how amazing this cake is. She's gonna be so excited. I mean, it is perfect. It's like a dollhouse cake. All right, y'all, it's time for me to get dressed. Okay, I got some dresses from Shop though, and I think that this is the one that I'm gonna go with. And then I have these heels, like they're platform heels, they're really a lot, but they match the best out of any of my stuff. Forever ago, Peyton Sarton did a jewelry collab, and I got the cutest like dangly pearl earrings, and I cannot find them anywhere. And I need them back because I love them. I think I wore them for Christmas, but I haven't been able to find them, so anyways. All right, this is the look. I just put oil on, so I'm trying not to get it on my dress. Shopo Macy's, and then I just put a little oil. The only one that I had that was bronzing was sunscreen, so I think it's gonna be fine because it's Kapari, so I think it'll be really good. Bride's almost here, everyone else is arriving in like an hour and a half, and we're pretty much ready. Cheese board has arrived. Come on in! I'm filming you. Oh my God! It's very, very cute. This is so, so cute. Good. Oh my god. Wow, okay, come on in, come on in this way. Hi. Look Hi. at all of the table. Oh, your makeup looks great. It's all good. Yeah. Hi, girls. Wow, yeah. she came, she dressed for the occasion. Oh my god, the smile is so good. And then come to the cake. You're gonna I die at the cake. Oh my god, this is your cutie for the cake. It's so cute. It's cute. cute. It's literally perfect. It's cute. exactly the photo. Wow. The girlies are all dressed up. Oh, Hi, cuties. So Hi, cuties. I opted for these white buckets as well because I knew I would use them for things later on, so I was happy to pay for them and it like wasn't an issue at all. I loved the custom newspaper. I feel like this was so cute, so fun, and so personal. I'm sure this is gonna be the next chuggy thing in like 10 years for bridal showers, but right now I'm loving it. And the flower bar was just a really fun, little different thing to do. And then that way everyone leaves with something. I love flowers, like I can never have too many. So I just thought this was so fun. And honestly, it was a big crowd fave. <music> Okay, it looks a lot better out here. 
we had to move it because the lighting was really bad. So this is much, much better. The girls, you guys are so stunning. now like 7 p.m. This dress is so cute. It's a little big, I will say. I don't think it was like the most flattering dress ever, but it's so cute, so I wore it anyways. But it's 7 p.m. I am so tired, so I'm gonna wash my face, needlepoint my Saturday night away, and go to bed. But if y'all liked this video of hosting the bridal shower, let me know. I hope I got enough footage during the shower. I feel like I just never actually filmed during the event. It's mainly just all of the lead up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.